Psalm 83 and verse 1 says, O God, do not keep silence. Do not hold your peace or be still, O God. As believers, we have received answers to our prayers as well as God's silence. There are times when we earnestly seek God, but in return, only sends His silence. When this happens, silence can be difficult, frustrating, and tempt us to doubt. Because we know if He is silent, we are hopeless. If He holds His peace, we will have no peace. If He is still, then we will have no help. Which is why this morning we are going to pray with our hearts and the cry of Psalm 83. So I urge you to close your eyes, open your mouths and cry out to God with me as we pray. God, we pray this morning that you would direct our minds and our hearts, that you would form our thinking and our desire in our acting, in our speaking. God, we depend on your word in a world where if you are silent, we have no hope. We depend on you for all these things. We depend on your word for wisdom, for guidance. We depend on your peace in a world where there's so much temptation to anxiety and worry, particularly in times like this. We cry out to you. We need your word. We don't want to be silent. We need to hear your word and we need your peace. We need you to move. God, please do not keep silent. We pray that your peace will overwhelm the heart of every single person listening to this prayer right now. A peace that Philippians chapter 4 says passes all understanding and guard our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Oh God, I pray that and amidst all the unknowns around us, you will not be still. You will intervene and provide and that your mercy would be all over us this morning. When the enemies of our souls make an uproar, speak peace to the storm and help us to know that we are safe. When those enemies lay crafty plans against us, turn their plans into your plans and cause us to triumph in your name. When those enemies say, come, let us wipe them out as a people, cause us to call to you in worship and let you fight the battle. We remember that you are greater than the enemies of our souls. You are the lover of our souls and we will rest in you. You have brought us through great trials in past days, Lord, and you will continue to shepherd us through times of trouble. You are our creator. You formed us and made us who we are. You have given us new hearts to trust and love you. We praise you. Let those who fight against you come to their sense and feel your presence. Fill their hearts with love for you. Let all of the earth rejoice in the resurrection of your son and experience your love for them today. You are worthy to be adored. You have given your all for us. We worship you. We give ourselves afresh to you today. Dear beloved, be rest assured that God is attentive to our prayers at this very moment and each heartfelt plea is being recorded. Stay steadfast and maintain your focus on heaven. In this spirit, kindly share your name and a potent declaration in the comments below. God is with me. And watch as the stagnancy in your life transforms into a flowing river. All powerful Father, we need your presence right now. Please step in with your divine power, sword, and assist us now. Please show your glory and intercede for us. Bring your saving grace and save us without hesitation. Jesus, our Savior, we pray that you will intervene in the midst of all our troubles. It is very difficult right now and we need your help. We need your comfort and guidance every night. Your solutions will bring peace and joy to our lives. We're full of anxiety and 
dismay and want to be free from it. Get rid of all fearful thoughts and stress and make us surrender my problems to you. Jesus, we need answers and can't find them by ourselves. We need your strong, mighty hands to free us from our chains and bring your peace in our hearts and minds. God of divine intervention, please intervene now in our lives. Don't allow us to be unfortunate victims of violence and terror in this world. We pray, Lord, in heaven for divine guidance and your intervention in our lives. Now, let us join our hearts in fervent prayer for our friends and family. If you know someone who is earnestly seeking divine intervention, take a moment to write their names in the comment section below. In unity, our collective prayers become a powerful force for change. Lord, as we pray this morning, we intercede for those facing conflicts and challenges. Just as the psalmist sought your intervention, Bring peace and resolution to every situation that seems insurmountable. Almighty God will lift up nations and communities in book and divine intervention as we unite in prayer. May your wisdom guide leaders and may justice and righteousness prevail in every corner of the world. In the spirit of Psalm 83, we intercede for those who feel oppressed and marginalized. Lord, intervene on their behalf, breaking the chains of injustice and granting them the freedom they seek. Father, as we utter these intercessory prayers, we ask for your divine intervention in matters of health. Bring healing to those suffering restoration to the sick and comfort to those in pain. Lord of hosts, just as the psalmist sought your intervention against enemies, we ask for protection and deliverance from any adversary that may stand against us. Shield us with your divine presence. In the name of Jesus, we intercede for families and relationships that are strained May your divine intervention mend broken bonds and restore love and unity among family members and friends. God of mercy, we invoke divine intervention for those struggling with financial burdens. Open doors of provision, bring opportunities for prosperity and release a divine turnaround in their circumstances. May these prayers usher in divine intervention in every aspect of family and friends, bringing about the transformative power of God. As we step into a moment of powerful declarations, let us remember that our words carry significant weight. Place one hand on your chest as a symbol of conviction and say after me. I declare that God's grace is a beacon guiding me through every challenge. I declare breakthroughs and blessings in areas where I have faced obstacles. I declare peace that surpasses understanding to reign in my heart. I declare divine wisdom to navigate every decision and circumstance. I declare healing over my body, mind and spirit in the name of Jesus. I declare that God's favor surrounds me as a shield, opening doors of opportunity. I declare the strength of to overcome any adversity that comes my way. I declare abundant joy and gratitude to fill my daily experiences. I declare restoration in relationships that may be strained or broken. I declare financial blessings and prosperity to flow into my life. I declare breakthroughs are coming in my life, sudden bursts of God's goodness, not a trickle, not a stream, but a flood of God's power, a flood of healing, a flood of wisdom, a flood of favor. I am a breakthrough person and I choose to live breakthrough minded. I am experiencing God to overwhelm me with His goodness and amaze me with His favor. I declare I will speak only positive words of faith and victory over myself, my family and my future. I will not use my words to describe my situation I will use my words to change my situation. I will call in favor, good break, healing, and restoration. 
I will not talk to God about how big my problems are. I will talk to my problems about how big my God is. This is my declaration. As we conclude this time of declarations, let the power of these spoken words reverberate in the lives of every viewer. May your transformative grace touch each heart, bringing forth the promises you've declared. We thank you for the faith to speak life into our circumstances. Amen. Dear beloved, welcome to this sacred moment of prayer. This morning, we gather to seek the divine guidance and blessings necessary for financial increase and abundance in our lives. In this space, let us come together with open hearts and minds, ready to receive the abundance that awaits us. Close your eyes and connect with heaven. Heavenly Father, we come before you with gratitude in our hearts, seeking your divine guidance and favor for financial increase and abundance in our lives. May our prayers be heard and our hearts be aligned with your will. Philippians chapter 4 verse 19 And my God will supply every need of yours according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. Let this assurance be the foundation of our faith as we seek financial blessing. In the name of Jesus, we declare that our needs are met according to your riches and glory. Remove any scarcity mindset and fill us with confidence that you are our provider in every circumstance. We stand on the assurance of your word, believing that those who seek you lack no good thing. Align our desires with your will and grant us the desires of our hearts as we trust in you. Thank you that we are worth more than many sparrows. If you provide for the birds of the air, help us to trust that you will provide and meet the needs of us and our family. Thank you, Lord, that we can trust you to provide for us as we lift up our prayer for financial breakthrough to your throne of grace. Grant us the faith to trust in your divine plan, even when faced with financial challenges. Help us remember that you are our ultimate provider and in your time all our needs will be met. Give us wisdom in managing our resources. Help us to grow in wisdom as we seek to honor you through our finances. Help us to budget our money well, work hard and save the resources you have given to us. Please allow our diligence in stewarding what you have given us to bring a powerful financial breakthrough in our lives. May we be good stewards of what you have entrusted to us. Luke 6 verse 30 says, Give and it shall be given to you a good measure, pressed down, shake it together and running over. We will be poured into your lap, for with the measure you use, it will be measured to you. Lord, because you have freely given to us, help us freely give back to you and to those around us. Even in the midst of financial difficulty, help us to wisely and generously give to those who are in need. Your word says that a generous person will prosper, and whosoever refreshes those will be refreshed. Is still in us a spirit of generosity, knowing that as we give, we open ourselves to receiving your overflowing blessings. May our hearts be open to sharing our resources with others. Thank you that we can give from the fullness of abundance that you have given to us. Jesus, our Savior and miracle worker, you work in such unexpected and mysterious ways. But who can plumb your depths? or rise to your great heights. Who can search out your ways and behold your glory? We need your help. We ask that you provide income in unexpected ways. Do it, Jesus. Work a miracle in our lives and deliver on this request through Christ our Lord. As we embark on this spiritual journey, I encourage you to write your names and a brief word of prayer in the comment section below. A simple prayer line you can share might be, May divine abundance flow into my life, bringing financial increase and prosperity. 
Feel free to express your unique hopes and aspirations and let this virtual space resonate with your intentions. Gracious Father, the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, the giver of all good and perfect things, Lord Jesus, the earth is yours and the fullness thereof. You own the earth's riches with abundance in silver and gold. Lord, grant us the inheritance as your child Bless us as you have blessed Abraham. We pray for divine access to the Abrahamic blessing you have promised all those who fear and worship you. Lord Jesus, we come today longing for your true abundance and blessings. We know that your unconditional love is poured out to us. You have blessed us in the highest blessings in Christ Jesus by the gift of salvation, eternal life and relationship with you. We have an abundance of your mercy. We have an abundance of your faithfulness. We have an abundance of your goodness. We have an abundance of your grace. You always give us what we need. Bring fresh healing and abundance to our lives spiritually, relationally, financially, and physically. Dear Lord, we pray you would bless us with your abundance in unexpected ways. Amen. Right now, we are about to pray together and make a special space for asking good things for others. If you know someone who is seeking for financial increase and abundance, drop their names in the comments. Let's lift each other up in our collective prayers. Lord, we lift up the members of our community who are facing financial struggles. May your grace and favor be upon them, providing for their needs and granting them the strength to persevere through challenging times. We lift our families before you. Bless our homes with financial increase and abundance, creating a foundation of stability and prosperity for generations to come. Lord, we intercede for those burdened by financial strain and hardship. Bring healing and relief to their lives, providing them with the resources needed to overcome their challenges. We lift up those in our community seeking employment, open doors of opportunity, and guide them to fulfilling and prosperous careers that align with your purpose for their lives. We pray for the success and prosperity of business owners. May their endeavors flourish, bring financial increase, not only for themselves, but for those they employ. Bless their endeavors with creativity, innovation, and financial success that brings glory to your name. We lift up students in our community. Grant them the resources and opportunities needed to pursue education, setting the foundation for a future of financial prosperity. Lord, we intercede for those burdened by the weight of debt. Provide them with the means to overcome financial obstacles and experience the freedom that comes from your provision. Father, we pray for mental and emotional well-being of our community members. May your peace and assurance reign in their heart, alleviating stress and anxieties related to financial matters. Thank you, Jesus, for answering prayers. Now, together, we'll make declarations about our financial growth and abundance. We shall speak out loud because words have power. Repeat after me. I decree, I dwell in the midst of infinite abundance. The abundance of God is my infinite source. The river of life never stops flowing. It flows through me into lavish expression. Good comes to me through unexpected avenues. And God works in a myriad of ways to bless me. And now open my mind to receive my good. Nothing is too good to be true. Nothing is too wonderful to have happened. With God as my source, nothing amazes me. I am not burdened by thoughts of past or future. One is gone, the other is yet to come. By the power of my belief, coupled with my purposeful fearless actions and my deep rapport with God, my future is created and my abundance made manifest. I ask and accept that I am lifted in this and every moment into higher truth. 
my mind is quiet. From this day forward, I give freely and fearlessly into life and life gives back to me with a magnificent increase. Blessings come in expected and unexpected ways. God provides for me in wondrous ways. I am indeed grateful and let and I let and I let it be so. I am worthy and deserving and I accept abundance and prosperity into my life now. I believe that there is more than enough in God's universe. The channels of abundance are open now and the gifts of love, fulfillment, joy, happiness and prosperity flow easily into my life. An abundance of money and wealth flows consistently into my life. O oh, subconscious mind, I command you to be instrumental in gracefully accepting God's gifts in the form of money, wealth and abundance to make me rich and prosperous. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. As we conclude this morning prayer, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel and share your thoughts and additional prayer requests in the comment section below. Let us continue to support and uplift each other on this journey toward financial blessing.